Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Infa Mazu and I'm a poultry farmer. Today I'll be showing you ways you can avoid heat stroke. So the weather is so hot this period and if you are a poultry farmer or you intend to be a poultry farmer and you just try with some beds, you would realize that your beds will just stay and convulse because of the heat, even when you give them water and feed and everything. So today I'm going to be sharing tips on how you can control that and you will come along with me because I want to give my bed water. <laughs> so come along. <laughs> so like I mentioned earlier, if you notice this bed, you will see that they are opening their mouths to breathe. Their feathers are standing and they are just panting. I've given them water twice today, and this is just uh, 2 12. This is 2 12, 2 12 in the afternoon. And they've drank 35 liters twice today, just from morning to past two. And if you realize, or if you look at them closely, you will see that they are still panting and they've not had water today. You'd also notice it when, I, about, when I'm about giving them water, you see that they will still rush for the water, regardless of the fact that they've been taking water all through today. One of the things you should consider when you are stocking beds this period is reduce the quantity of beds you keep in your room. Like this room can take 200 beds, but currently there are 162 beds, so I have to reduce the capacity of this room because when they are too much, they will have more heat, they, they, they emit more heat, so it's going to affect their growth. And if you watch them closely, they will not grow as much as they should. By the way, these beds are three weeks and five days. Yeah, I am so impressed with their, with their size. I'm so impressed with their growth. I think I should do a video about that, on how you can manage your bed from day old to four weeks and the kg you should be expecting without boosters, without any, any form of um, chemical or whatever that you give to your bed. We don't give our bed chemicals. So, um, another thing you should consider is you don't feed them during the day so you reduce the food they consume during the day the best time to feed best during this period are early in the morning and late in the evening when the sun is down because they will keep eating broilers never stop eating as long as they see food they will continue eating but eating during the heat it's so bad for them because they will not easily digest their food so the best time to give them food is in the mornings and evenings. So this feed is the one since morning and it has reduced drastically. I am not going to stop up top the till evening. Another thing to consider, <laughs> another thing to consider, I'm so impressed with this best to be honest. Another thing to consider is you would want to give them cold water, not so cold, but you can drop some ice in their water to make the temperature better. You can drop some ice in their water to make it cooler for them to consume it's going to help them reduce the number of times to open their mouth to breathe another point is if you have a very big pen you can as well put in water so buckets of water inside the rooms in some specific areas in the rooms i've tried this just once and i think i saw some results when i had a lot of beds in a particular room i just dropped like two buckets of water it helps to reduce the heat in that room and make it cooler for them, it reduces the temperature and makes it better for them and more conducive for them to stay. With this, you can control the number of times they have heat stress or heat stroke. With this bed, I have not had any case of heat stroke or heat stress. Yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, please drop it down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to subscribe to encourage me to drop more videos. And... Um, Please share this video too. Tell your friends to tell their friends to share the video. Ooh.